From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Amy Watson with your morning headlines. Glad you're with us. We have continuing coverage today into a deadly head on crash in Bedford County. Teach pieces southbound lanes of Highway 231 were shut down for hours last night while crews worked the scene. We're told at least one passenger has died and life flight was called. We're waiting for more information. Of course, you can download the News Channel 5 app for updates throughout the day today. And a heads up for anybody traveling to Cookville, the city's water quality control department is going to close one lane of Highway 70 at East Spring Street today from 8 until 3 p.m. The department says it will be working on a utility repair near Highland Hardware just west of the county courthouse. So be sure to slow down, of course, and look for crews on the road. Mega Millions mania has gripped the nation. Can you believe nobody won over the weekend? Well, no one won the ultimate prize, which is now up to $1.6 billion. One winner in Knoxville won 2 million bucks, just one number shy of the jackpot. In the meantime, the Powerball's grown to $620 million. The next drawing for Mega Millions is Tuesday night at 10 p.m. All right. Let's get a check on our forecast. Good morning, Leland. Welcome hey, back. Good morning. Thank you. Around the Mid-South for today after some frost and freeze advisories to start the day. Lots of sunshine in here for us with temperatures hitting the mid 60s later today, a little bit below where we ought to be for this time of the year. But as you look at the week ahead, this last full week of October, things look good. Temperatures mainly in the 60s at night, upper 30s, low 40s tonight and tomorrow night, and then mid upper 40s for the rest of the week. For now, some small rain chances coming our way by Saturday and Sunday. Make it a fantastic day.